Hello and welcome back dear friends, it's me Odo, we are back in our campaign of EU, no, not EU4, uh, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous, EU4 is, is, is so long ago, hmm. yeah, anyway, we are back in our campaign, we, last time we helped the Hell Knights um, to fight off a lot of gargoyles, you see blood here. Mm. Now let's talk to Regil. You too. Check the area. Mark any potential shelters that offer protection against aerial attacks. Quartermaster, inventory the remnants of the. He looks like a, a nice and friendly guy. I want to make sure that the gargoyles only adopt the people and weren't interested in anything else. Send messengers immediately to our scout wards and order them to return to camp. And I need a full list of casualties. The sooner the better. Uh, he turns to you and nods slightly. Commander, your arrival was well timed. Now we can finally talk. I am quite interested in the event set of at the garrison. I suppose you have questions for me as well. Yeah, well, who are you? <laughs> what if I want to join the ranks of the Hell Knights? What What would that be a question? What does Paralicta mean? Do you want to know about what happened at the Great Garrison? Any shift in the balance of power during this war has a direct impact on my mission. If a new player appears who is capable who is capable of fighting demons effectively, then I am ready to support that person with all the resources I have at my disposal. Hmm. It's like a um, lawful evil character or something like that. <clears throat> Rachel speaks pensively as if talking to himself but naturally I cannot blindly trust a stranger even one marked by the gods the gods blessed me with an incredible gift and Queen Gulfrey put me at the helm of the crusade but that's not enough for you is it? <laughs> You have every right to doubt. I usually don't trust friends either. I don't care at all. Better you believe me. Ah, that's good. We can trust strangers. After most of the strangers we we found just attacked us. <laughs> so we understand each other. Thank you, Commander. Rachel nods more to himself than to you. Also, I don't think that uh, my character would speak lightly to such kind of character. We are true neutral. We can blend in with everyone. Is there anything you'd like to know before we move on to more serious issues? Uh, what are Hell Knights doing here within the borders of the World Wound? Same as you and your army, fighting a war against the demons. The Hell Knights have always been a part of the Crusades from the very beginning. We don't answer to Queen Galfrey, and we act an, on our own authority, but we serve the common cause. The Scary Spawn have no place in the world we want to build. Regil barks out the final words. Hmm. Funny, isn't it? Knights clad in black armor have been fighting this war from the off, but most people don't even know it. The face of the Crusades is a Mandavian paladin with the sword of Iomide gleaming on their gilded armor. In that respect, my cousin Galfrey has a real flair for propaganda, I must say. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't like her. For the Hell Knights, the World Wound is just one of several targets. They expend much greater efforts on book burning and suppressing slave uprisings. Yes, there are order sent reinforcements here. 
but Mandev has always borne the brunt of this war. Okay. I don't want to argue and quibble. What does paradigma mean? I'm the commander of this unit and in the order's hierarchy. I am two steps lower than its leader in the territory of Mendev and the world wound. There are a few who equal my rank, but I am the most senior Hell Knight officer for many leagues around. Okay. We are not done talking about your atrocities. What are you going to do now after the gargoyle attack? I will wait for my remaining fighters to return. What you see here is only a small part of my forces. As for my long-term plans, that depends on the results of, your, of our conversation, Commander. Regal narrows his eyes. Before we move on to serious subjects, I'd like to address an organizational issue regarding my unit. You may wish to be present. Jaeger steps forward and salutes with a clenched fist on his chest. Um, uh, who's doing this? The Klingons do this. Paralector, permission to report. During the first gargoyle attack, I determined it necessary to leave my post. I swam over the river, found the commander's army, and asked them to provide assistance. Reinforcements were much needed. You will earn a double salary for your resourcefulness, Jaeger. And a hundred lashes for abandoning your post. <laughs> That's great. Uh, more money and, and lashes. Chaotic. I wonder if it's foolish and overly harsh to punish Jaeger for leaving his post when he did it to bring help. Don't forget, he abandoned his armor. <laughs> oh, it's great. This would this would make this would make a hundred and fifty lashes. I could best bet. We don't say anything. Regal, who has watched you closely throughout the entire conversation, nods to himself. Now for a more delicate issue. You, Commander, were interested in our dispute with the Knights of the Order of the Sunrise Sword, correct? Their forces in Canabra suffered great losses in the human attack, and now their leader has perished and his troops are in trouble. They are reeling with no command structure. Their order will hardly be able to recover from the losses they've suffered. What are you getting at? I don't care about their fate. <laughs> These fighters aren't the finest material I've worked with, but if I assume formal command over them, I'll be able to reforge them into weapons of reasonable quality. One or two might even become true Hell Knights. The rest will be put to good use as well. Ah, interesting. Do you really think these people will follow you after how you've treated them? What does this have to do with me? Uh, you have already shown that you will easily sacrifice these people, use them as living shields for your precious knights. I won't let that happen. Let them join my army. At least I don't treat my soldiers as expendables. No one but them has the right to decide their fate. Talk to them directly and get your answer, Norful. I will support you and recommend that the Knights of the Sunrise Sword fall in under your command, but I will expect your support in return, Paralictor. Could be done. I don't care about that. Let's let's ask him this first before we make our decision. I suppose, Commander, that for leagues around from Canaveras to Dresden and from Dresden to the cursed city of Is, the heart of the world wound, all of this 
pertains to you in one way or another. You are the catalyst that shifted an age-old balance of power, whether you meant to or not. Your own future and much more depends on the decisions you make here and now, even the ones that seem insignificant. Insignificant. Yeah. Have to drink something. Mm. Let's ask the first as well. Though not the best, they are still warriors and knights. They know what discipline is and that victory in war doesn't come without cost. Any among them who still haven't realized that aren't worth my time and my effort. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, well, let's, let's do the lawful thing in this, this thing. Um, so we have to do a chaotic thing next. I will gladly give my support to you, to one who can effectively fight the demons. And now let's turn to our orphans. You've performed a lawful action. Rachel looks at the warriors in white and yellow shifting cheerlessly from one foot to the other. Initiates of the Sunrise Sword, your leader is dead. The Order has suffered serious losses and will not be able to recover. You may return to Mendiv to join another Crusader Order and hope that they don't meet the same fate as the Sunrise Sword. Or you may remain under my command. I will not promise that it will be easy or that our war making will be constricted by your principles. What I can promise is this. Under my command, you will never again feel like helpless mice in the talons of a ravenous raptor. <laughs> uh, sunrise Sword Priestess, does that mean we've worked off the precious resources you spent on us? The water, medicine and bandages? Yells one of the knights in white and yellow. I wouldn't make such an offer if I thought you were useless garbage. <laughs> uh, the initiates of the Sunrise Sword consult with each other for a time, and then one of them, a young woman in the knight in knight's armor, steps forward. Thank you for your trust, Paradictor. We will stay. And are ready to obey your orders. Fine. In due course, I will review your troops and make any necessary decisions regarding your role in my unit. And now, Commander, for the most important issue, cooperation between our forces. We do have a common enemy and a common battlefield. Oh, we checked the perception part of you. Pass the perception check. Blech. You are looking at my at me strangely, Paradictor, when we discussed Jacob's punishment and when we were deciding the fate of the Sunrise Sword. It's as if you're testing me. Let's do this. Why not? I do not believe I made any attempt to conceal my interest in you, both as a new strong leader in the re region and as the bearer of a highly unusual power. Of course, I'd like to know what's inside your head. One could say that it's my duty. My army and I are going to Dresden to free the city from demons. You can join forces with us. Yeah, of course. We want them to join us. Uh, we need every man, I think, and no. Dresden? An ambitious goal, but most reasonable. Imagine how such a victory would rally all the separate bands of today's crusaders under one banner, and we certainly need a base of operation inside the world wound. Brauchen wir das wirklich? I mean, do we need that really? I stand ready to support you. Moreover, I can accompany you in your campaign. However, I would remind you that Hell Knights are outside of Mendev's jurisdiction. 
My unit and I will join your forces and obey your orders, but only for as long as I deem that our goals coincide. Ja, klar. <clears throat> I like his eyes. They are still bright. Neither the darkness nor the paleness has taken them for now. Interesting. Hell no. We don't need the likes of these black armored statues. I don't want to fight side by side with someone who will slit my throat if I'm weak and wounded. You can't defeat one evil by inviting an equal but slightly more organized evil into your ranks. <laughs> slightly more organized than the demons? I could consider that an insult. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can we take him with us? I've never dealt with Hell Knights before, but from what we've seen, they're serious fighters. That's just what we need. And just think how that armor will look in the painting. They'll in the paintings they'll make about our our battles. Yeah, it's a deal, or you and I have different. Pa yeah, we'll take him. I mean, we already got rid of one of the of the inquisitors so we can't get rid of the hell knights as well yes commander my forces and gradual the ranch are at your disposal good Ooh, we can really take him with us hmm But whom do we get out of the group then? If we take him, we would have to take Sila into the group, out of the group. Mm, let's look at him. What does he do? A lawful evil hell knight. Armiger hell knight. What's an armiger? Until would be hell knights take the trial referred to simply as the test in which they enter single combat with a conjured devil and either emerge victorious or die, they are known as armigers. Ah. So that's a uh, hell knight in waiting. Mm. And he's a gnome, is he? That's that's a gnome. Mm. A gnome, yeah. Lawful evil gnome. Seldom you find these things. The whitish looks of hair on his head mark the time until his inevitable death. Yet his own fate doesn't seem to worry Regil Derringe, a hell knight to his very core for those who himself into living weapons, there is no greater purpose than to strike. However, only time will tell where the strike will end. Okay, he has an armor class of 26. That's quite good. Um, he has a plus. Yeah, let's let's do let's do the level up. We will do the level up that they intend us to do again. Hell Knight can't cast spells. So he's he's kind of a warrior. Armiga is a, a fighter and Hell Knight is is just a good fighter. <clears throat> A third level of fighter learns to be more wearing armor. Okay. The armor check penalty goes down by one. That's good. Knowledge Arcana and Persuasion, yeah, why not? He looks ridiculous. 
<laughs> I'm eating this armor. Um, improve two weapon fight. Sounds interesting. What does this do? You get a second attack with your offhand weapon, all beta at a minus five penalty. Okay. Okay. So he's doing quite some damage, I think. He has a base attack bonus of plus seven. Plus two. He has a plus one on strength and a plus four on dexterity. What weapon do you use, my good sir? <sighs> What's that? Cold Iron Gnome Hooked Hammer. Two-handed. Okay. Six to eleven points of damage when equipped. That's not great, I think. Oh, where is the myth? Oh, there is the mythic path. Let's do this as well. Leading strike. Your strikes make cracks in the enemy existence, giving weak points for your allies to strike. Ah, oh, that's nice. Benefit every time you hit the target in melee combat, you leave a mark on it. Any ally attacking the marked target deals additional divine damage equal to 1d6 your mythic rank to the target consuming the mark. Note, only one ally can leave a mark on a target at a time. Other allies with leading strike ability do not deal additional damage to the mark target. Okay. Hmm, sounds nice. Sounds good. He's attacking often. He has... Well, he doesn't have a good AC. Uh, uh, he doesn't have a very good... What's it called? Um, attack bonus inventory. Let's look if we have something more for him or bad for him. Like, how about this? Claw of Chistka Sword. 4 to 14 points of damage. Interesting. This does make more damage than. Yeah, let's do it like that. I mean, he has the ability to fight two weapons, doesn't he? Plus 9, plus 4, plus 10, plus 5. With the offhand. Weapon focus. Ah, I see. Two weapon fighting. Yeah. Problem is, he has a, a focus on the gnome hooked hammer. That's strange. That's a strange thing to do. And he has weapon finesse. Interesting. Light weapon, Elven curve blade. Essok or Rapier. 
you may use your dexterity modifier instead of your strength modifier on attack rolls. Yeah. So it's even better to use the to use this. Therefore, the attack rolls are better here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Ah, no, he doesn't make that much of a damage because <laughs> because it's it's smaller with him. Yeah, let's see how it goes in this in this way. Okay, we have here uh, a mobility check. Do we want to do this? Let's make a safe game. Before we hopple down there. Across there. We're still alive. Praise be Saren Ray. Okay. Let's take stuff. The skeleton of a man wearing armor from the time of the first crusade. It's holding the skeleton. What? Uh, it's holding the skeleton of a child with strange proportions and animal paws instead of its right arm and leg. Oh, interesting. So, wait, we found some ring of protection. Ring of protection. You have a ring of protection plus one, I guess, yeah. You don't have a ring, so you get it. Nah. Let's say you take it and you get the plus one ring. Okay, that's strange. Why? Why did we? I mean, there was just a ring of protection plus two and nothing else. That's it. Is there something else in this direction? No. Doesn't look like that. Hmm. Nope. Nothing there. I mean, it looks like there would be some way down there, but there is. Yeah, anyway. Let's move back out. Oh, pig, why are you so slow? I don't think that it's too heavy for you. I mean, you are strong. You are a really big pig. No. Yeah, safe game. Mm. Inventory. Pig. Let me see. You have a light weight. Is this out of the barding? This plus two height barding grants its area cold resistance 10, the plus two competence bonus on saving throws against movement impaired. 
impairing effects. Hmm. Interesting. Should even be fast with this. What's that? Blender left scroll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. There's an area exit now. Let's connect all. Mm -hmm. mm. Anyway, at this point, my dear friends, we will stop for today. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time soon. Bye.